for the old body, long Jeff Pig, Farmer Steve, and welcome to my farm. Now, I bet you're wondering, Steve, how do you get your farm animals in your pet and stuff? Well, I'm about to show you. It's a very simple process that I myself complete every single day. And first thing you need is you need the materials to build these. Now these are pens made of animals you can put in them, made of these so-called fences with some torches around them to keep the bad things out. Now, now, you might be one state screen and all. But how do you get all your animals into your pens? And how do you build them pens? Well, I'm about to show you. First thing you gotta do is you're gonna get your wood and materials that you already got there before. Is that the most important thing? That's the first part about making a farm. You gotta get your wood and material. Oh, this, this will break. There we go. Okay. Crafting table is always important when making farms. And first thing you need is There's lots and lots of wood. Now, if this tray would break down, that would be fan freaking nasty. But the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna chop down this good tray. So I'm about to do that, and I'll be back when I'm finished chopping down this down tray. Okay, Whipper Snappers. Now that we're back and we got our tree chopped down, we're good. We're gonna be planting ourselves and making our crafting ourselves some nice old fences. Now these are going to be some dark earthwork fences where you can make out of any wood that you can particularly like yourself. Anyways, so you're going to make this wood, you're going to make it into them dark oak wood planks, and you're going to make some sticks out of them. Now with the sticks, you're going to make a very important recipe. If you want, the first thing you're going to need is the fences themselves, which you're going to make by putting the, the piece of wood on both sides. And some sticks, and you're gonna make the fences. You're gonna make plenty of fences. Now, the thing, the thing, the second thing you need, the dang, to craft is your trapped, your uh, dark, your fence gates. Now, because you know how you're gonna get your animals in and in out of your, your fence gates. Well, I tell you, whippersnappers, it's through your fence gates. That's how you're gonna get them out. So you're gonna craft those. Bro. And then the rest you can just make into, uh, the, 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 the fences, yeah, the fences. So you got them fences made. Now, what are you going to do, you can build them as big as your little heart desires, about now, I'm telling you. But I, the ones I usually build are nice and small. I do a 10 by 10 by 10 by 8. I do a 10 by 8 fence for my for my tools. But I gotta place them right because the them placing a ride is the most important thing of building a fence. You gotta place them in the right order and correct sequence. I know those are very big vocabulary, but they're important vocabulary. Okay, now that we got the fence built in, bro. Oh, now we can tor put some torches, which you make with the coal, and you know how to make the torches before. I think I taught you in the last episode of this build. Maybe it's my brother Phil. I think when my brother Patrick we taught you last time, he's a bit of he's a very interesting fellow. He's got his own he's got his own ways of life, you know. Each other our own days of life. Now you wonder, you know where now how you get the animals in? Well I'll tell you, it's very easy. The first thing you gotta do is you got to get materials to create what is called what is known as a hoe. Now not that kind of hoe the lady hoe. I mean like a farming hoe. And that's how you're gonna create these. Well, first, you, these potatoes and these carrots, you're not gonna be able to find just out in the wild. 
you have to find a village or got to kill one of them zombie figures. But for these seeds to make this wheat, you're gonna cr you're gonna break grass. And breaking grass around you is gonna get these seeds. Now there's another thing you can get, which is sugar cane. If you break that, you'll get some sugar cane. You can plant it around your farm area, which you'll need to make books, which can be explained in a later episode. Now, but you wonder, Steve, how'd you get these on the ground? I can't plant them on the ground right now. Well, I'll tell you, fella. You gotta go over here and use that cobblestone or iron or gold or wood or whatever you picked up to make yourself a hoe. In that pattern that I just showed you. You saw it quick, it's just two pieces of cobblestone and then two down down there sticks. And that'll make yourself a hoe and you can make it any way you want. And then you just you'll get a bucket of water. You pick up the bucket of water and I'm gonna show y'all something else. Very interesting tip you use. If you're far away, let well let's say let's say this water source is all the way over there. I don't want to run back and forth to pick up water. Donkey, I, I don't know what you I know what you can do, but you, you gotta get out at water source. Son, son, I'm gonna have to ask you one more time, son. You gotta get out of the water. These donkeys, I swear. Let's say this water is not all the way over there. You have to go all the way over there to pick up that water. Now, it's easy. It's right here. You have to you make an infinite water source. And then you can pick up the water and it'll keep responding. Simple as that. Now, there's four stages of crops being grown. There's a seeded stage where it's just starting to grow. Just like this. That's seeded stage. Right there. There's a second stage where it's halfway grown. And this is the full mature stage of your crops. And this is where you can pick up the crops. Just like that. And you can pick them up. And then you can replant them doing the same thing. And you see this? Watch this. Watch this, fellas. It attract. Excuse me. Can you? Can I use you as an example? Can I? I use you as an example. Now what? I'll be right back. And just like this, push right click on your mouse, and that's gonna hold your ground. So you can grow even more crops, and you can expand this garden as long as you want, but you can't do it in a certain amount of distance. It has to be, there has to be a water source at least four blocks from where you put your crop, your where you hold the ground. Because if it's over here, or over here, it's going to disappear, and just going to make dirt. See like that? It's just going to disappear. That's not good. You need it nice fertilized. If you see this little brown color, you're doing a good job. Now, this is mature. These are also mature. You can pick these. Once you see that little part at the bottom, you can pick up the potatoes. I don't want to eat them yet. Stop being. My, I'm hungry. These are not taters. Those are carrots. Now carrots, you can pick them too, and only taters and carrots are only found at villages. That's the only place I just said carrot. You can only find the taters and carrots at villages because they're usually farmed. Or you can pick them up in a random spawn by a zombie, but it's a very rare chance. Sometimes you get this poisonous potato. Do not eat the potato. As long much as Paul and Dalier have told you to not to eat potato because they think it's a funny thing. Well, check this out. So you can attract these animals with the piece of fruit that they enjoy. Now, them sheeps and the cows enjoy the most is the wheat. And they love the wheat. And you're probably asking, about state. once you have these animals, how do you make more of them? Can't you breed them? Well, of course you can. This ain't Minecraft for nothing. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. We'll be back when next century when they finally follow up, get up these freaking stairs. I swear these animals are so slow. They're still waiting. Can you, can you, can you jump on the block? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I need this second. Are you coming, sir? Sir. Sir. Get up the freaking stairs. 
You're really getting on my nerves, sir. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you one more time to follow me up these steps. Sh Sonny, I swear to God, get up these stinking stairs right now. Right now, get on that dirt. Get get on that dirt, Sonny. Come on. There you go. There you go, buddy. Sir, come on. You too. Ready? Come on in here. And then you gotta go, and that's how you put your animals in here. And when I close this, they're not gonna be able to escape. And you're wondering, Steve, how do you breed them? Well, I'll tell you, you right click on both of them, and they'll begin to breed and make a little baby. And then you get experience from the baby. Now, you can also breed these here cows the same way. Let's see, they'll follow the wheat. They'll follow the wheat, they're good cows. And you can breed them, and they'll make a baby cow. But see, these pigs, they don't follow the wheat. Pigs like, I'll show you what the pigs like. The pigs like. Pigs like certain, certain some, you know what I'm saying. Them pigs, they like the carrots. Watch what happens when I show them them carrots, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, then they really like, oh, see? See, now we have that really like the carrots. Oh yeah. Watch, look at that, look at that face. Oh yeah, look at that, They're, they really like the carrots. It's, he's chasing me for the carrot. Now you can right click on that one and right click on that one, it's gonna make a baby. Got a big by the bow. There's the baby. Adorable. Now, chickens. Chickens like the seeds. Feed the chicken seeds. You follow you the same way. Bam. Bam, chicken. Now, chickens also lay eggs, and if you throw the eggs on the ground, they'll make a baby. But it's not also, it's not a hundred percent chance. It's only like a, uh, like 40 or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's some kind of percentage. And now you're one, but you're wondering, what about bunnies? Bunnies like cats. Look, watch this guy. Watch this guy. This is, this is cute. This is adorable. We, on Steve's Farms, we are, we have the cutest bunnies ever. Come on, buddy. These guys go crazy for the carrot, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Watch how much he loves the carrot. Look at him. Look at him. He's dicing the carrot. He loves the carrot. Yes, he does. He loves them carrot so much. Now, there's one final one. Here, you can have the carrot. You can have it. It's yours. You can have that one, too. It's yours. You can have it. It's yours. It's all yours. Goodbye. Now there's one final thing. Pumpkins and melons. Oh, yeah. So with these pumpkins, you can break them with them axe. You can make more seeds to put them in. And you can find them randomly in the wild. Also, with melons, you can't find them. You can find them in the, um, them jungle area, but that's far away, man. That's some really far distances. Where you can find them, you can plant them if you want. And now, you all you gotta do is break them, and they'll keep growing. You don't need to replant them seeds unless you want to make more. So, that was my farm area. This has been, this has been Lord Steve, the king of the farm area. Showing you my farm animals. They're awesome. There's awesome people. There's some fine animals and things. And if you enjoy this tutorial on how to play Minecraft episode three, thank you so much for watching and spending time with me. Make sure to enjoy it. Now see you guys in the next episode of how to play some Minecraft. Bye bye. Yeehaw!